an interesting way into this race for Luke McCarthy. That horse was first up for six weeks tonight. That's not something we see a lot in harness racing, to have a horse so fresh coming into their grand final. So is that the best version of him? And would he be not quite at his peak if he was to race in an Inter-Dominion series where he's required to, to race three times in a week and then back up again. Well, he finds himself in a strange position because all roads now for him effectively have leaped to fame in exactly. front of them. There's other races he can go to, but for a lot of these open-class horses, it's where can I go, possibly even catch a wave tonight. If I go to Perth, I don't see Leap to Fame. Who wants to go where Leap to Fame isn't? There is a gold nugget in Perth later on this year that he could be eligible for, but then he would have to be meeting Never Ending in his backyard. So Well, definitely decisions. one's got gate speed and one doesn't, or one doesn't choose to use it. And horses who don't choose to use gate speed, Brittany, they're few and far between these days, and as we saw tonight, they become victims of other people's intent and not their own. Does his future line North America alongside Luke McCarthy? We're about to see Nicole. Before we get out to Brandon, this final race is rapidly approaching. Again, it looks an open one. Can you give us a lead one way or another? Well, Matt Gregor's boy, the favourite at 3.30, has been a drift at 2.25 we open, so overall a really big market drift. So her Dark and Stormy is the one that's been back today, 3.80 into 3.50, but overall I think the best back runner is Walter Warlock. We open 9.50, it's into 3.80, despite being slightly easy today, still open Overall, the best supported. Happy to you. Nine dollars into seven fifty today as well. Uh, but Matt Gregor's boy has really been a significant drift since we've opened this market, and really good money for Walter Warlock to maybe beat it, and a little bit for Soho Dark and Stormy too. Well, he did get very keen in the warm up, our favourite, and you could just see Jack Callaghan using the outside fence as a bit of a buffer there for a moment, just to give his arms a break. Walter Warlock is the interesting horse in this, Michael. I really liked his effort in the heat. Jeffrey Dawn trains and normally drives. Jeffrey only has one or two horses in his stable. Tonight, for the first time, he gets a different driver aboard. He's engaged the services of Will Rickson. How much should we read into that? Very smart move. First of all, part-time drivers should never be in big races because you're not doing the justice to the horse, regardless of Jeffrey's ability. These guys and girls do it every week. We just saw that in the Eureka. Um, I liked him in the heat. I thought he was very good. I think Matt Gregor's boy is the horse who's the most well-rounded here. He's had a lot of trials before he started racing, and his race career has been very good. So I didn't like the warm-up. I didn't like it. He seems to be resenting that gear on the inside just to touch the Murphy blind so I'm not entirely loving it but Jack has taken him away from the other horses. I thought he was the best in the heats. I think Soho Dark and Stormy is very fast. Last quarter in 26.5 when he won last week but his manners can be very a little green. bit iffy. Very green. So I'm going three on top because even though he's only had a handful of starts he's had a lot of trials and he should be okay here and Jack as you can see can't Calming him down, again, so much is going to depend on the attitude of these horses. It's been a long day in the stabling area, a long night for them with a lot of noise, Britt. Maybe some of them are thinking, this is past my bedtime. Let's get out to Brandon on track. It looks as though he's going to try and track down Will Rickson, who drives this very well-tried now favoured runner in Walter Warlock. Yeah, and as you uh, as you come to us, Britt, we're just getting a nice up and close here with uh, with Walter Warlock. He's a he's a nice enough put together sort of horse. Another one, as has been the case tonight, who's not overly big, he's not overly sort of muscled up, but he is a very racy type. So he's quite thin. I wouldn't say thin, but he's certainly very athletic in the back end, and that would be uh, that would be a sort of par for the course for this breed. So. Not at all concerned about the way he's turned out. He looks to be very calm, which is another good thing. And as Will Rickson is about to jump back aboard, and we will be able to hear what Will's got to say. Will, first time that you're at the controls, how did he feel in the warm-up? Yeah, he gave me a nice feel, BK. Thank you. Um, he, um, yeah, he bowled around and had a good look around at things with the big crowd and that. Two odds are having a bit of a look around. It's all new for him here tonight. So, but, um, you know, hopefully he runs a good race. I think he's a relatively untapped sort of commodity because we don't have a lot of exposed form on him but also we don't have a lot of exposed form with him partnering another driver so this is going to be just as interesting for you as the rest of us. Yeah it's obviously my first time behind him I'm getting to know him as well but um, what I've watched of him and Jeff's really happy with him so that gives me confidence. Good luck. Ta.
There's Will Rickson with Walter Warlock. I think he's going to be extremely hard to beat, if he can be beaten at all. We're just going to try and catch Jack Cal before they do score. Our arms are out. And Jack in the up, he looked very revved up. Was there uh, something that you could put your finger on there that maybe has settled him a little bit? Uh, no, not really. It, he hasn't really settled that much, to be honest. So, see how we go. All right, good luck. Thanks. All right, we're going to clear the track. So, Matt Gregor's boy, very revved up, and Jack, even coming back to the preliminary, hasn't been able to settle him. So, against him on that basis, really with Walter Warlock here, I think he's probably the best bet out of the juveniles. I think he's going to really appreciate the driver change with Will Rickson aboard. Six, three, eight, and nine as we're about to go to Fred Hastings, who has got yet another Eureka meeting under his belt. The second running of it was a sensation with Luke McCarthy winning, and he's got a drive in the last here, Freddie, but what a night it's been, and thanks for your help. Ed. Just about right. Thanks, BK. Yeah, terrific night, and well done to Luke McCarthy. Two Eurekas and two times El McCarthy on the trophy. They're set in the last, a group two to close us down, and away they go, and getting away quickly, Soho Dark and Stormy, showing good dash, is going to get across and lead over Happy to you, who'll take the trail second, and Matt Gregor's boy third. Now it's going to slide forward here, might even look for the lead. Behind those runners then as they sweep out of the straight is Charlie Snickers, and next of all on the outside is Walter Warlock. It's uh, just about, or probably about eight metres away from the horse in front of it, Hasn't quite got cover. They're really rolling here. Behind those runners then came Downward Dog on the outside, followed further back by Jars Blingett. And then we go back in the field then to Flash as a rat in the last pair of Zeron and the County Sheriff. Well, the first quarter... It was 26-8, and as they run their way towards the 900 metres, it's Soho Dark and Stormy leading the way. Matt Gregor's boy parked second, and Happy to you gets an economical run third. On the outside now, getting good cover is Walter Warlock, and then we go back to Charlie Snickers' three pegs. Next of all is Downward Dog as they run down the back straight. On the inside next is Jars Blingett. Well back in the field is Flash as a rat with Zeron and the county. Sheriff the last pair. They're at the cages. That second quarter was 28-5, so a 50 55 three half and with 500 meters left to go soho dark and stormy tries to sneak away here he sends a clear alternate it's raced about 10 meters in front walter warlock's in hot pursuit happy to you trying to stay on running its race now and yielding ground as matt gregor's boy as heads were turned for home and zeron makes ground but at the moment soho dark and stormy is in splendid isolation it's race 10 meters clear walter warlock is the chaser happy to you running home okay as charlie snickers and zeron goes back between runners but Soho Dark and Stormy has run them ragged in the last and Soho Dark and Stormy will beat Walter Warlock Zeron and then came Charlie Snickers followed by Flash as a rat just bling it happy to you well back to finish was downward dog with the county sheriff and at the tail of the field Matt Gregor's boy in 152 oh they never got a look in Soho Dark and Stormy Rick Alchin said it clear at about the 450 and they could not get anywhere near it up the straight. 26-8, 28-5.